The next icon which we can do is the maps icon. This icon is quite complicated, so I will split the work into the two parts. That is the background with all those fake buildings and the foreground with this badge and this arrow with the path which you are supposed to go. So let's start with the background. Insert our shape but move it away for now, maybe you know to the next icon. What we want to do is to draw those rectangles. So insert new shape rectangle draw one rectangle maybe we can right click and lock drawing mode so it will be drawing rectangles and we don't need to select it multiple times just like this okay so we have those rectangles we want to set the right colors so set this color to green This one, maybe not. Maybe the standard green color will be working just fine. The outline to darker green, so select the normal green, more colors, and make it a little bit darker. For this one, change the fill color to light pink. Maybe this one. Select the same color for the outline and make it darker. Be less saturated. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I'll start it all over again. Like this. And for those three shapes, select all of them, set the fill color to some grayish one, but with the tint of the yellow, like this. Set the same color for the outline, more colors and make it darker. So we have those rectangles. We can hide them for a while. And the last thing which you want to draw is this. It's probably not river because it's in the yellow color, so this yellow street. So insert shapes and select maybe this curve. like this. Maybe I have to select the edit points and adjust it a little to make it more rounded like this. Raise the line bit to some bigger number. Maybe that's too much. Like this. Change the color to yellow. Maybe that's too much orange, so maybe even more yellow. Copy this shape, paste it on the same spot. Move it below the first one, make it wider, and set the outline color to a darker one, like this. Align properly. Maybe you want to make this a little bit lighter and smaller. like this. Okay, so what we need to do now is to show every rectangle and draw one more rectangle. And that would be with the shift key press, so it will be a square, bigger than everything else, and somehow center aligned with the icon. Move it below all the rectangles, change the fill color to white, and outline to no line. Select every shape, and group it together, Cap it into the clipboard, Ctrl C, select this rounded rectangle shape and change the fill to picture or texture fill. Select from the clipboard, check tile picture as a texture. We can maybe hide this group so we can see the original icon. And uh, even if we set the alignment center, we want to adjust it a little. Move it, move it more to the bottom, like this. And I think that this is just fine. So we have our background done.